Hey, these brothers. And I was sitting there thinking about the story in the Bible, man, about the rich young ruler, right? And I don't know what uh, uh, Bible verse it is. Uh, you can Google it. But the rich young ruler, man, is a story that if you read it three or four times, you will probably extract three or four different lessons from it, right? And, and for y'all that aren't familiar, for y'all that didn't grow up in vacation Bible school and all that stuff where you heard these stories, the rich young ruler, man, is a story about, or an episode in the Bible about, about Jesus's or the messenger's interaction with a brother, right? So, so, so the messenger, man, was, was, was in a trap spot, man. He was hanging out with his brothers. He was on the block with his crew or, or, or at least a few members of his crew, man. And a brother rolled up on him. And this brother was Roly. This brother was Rolex. This brother was Cuban Link. This brother, this brother was Versace down. And this brother looked at the messenger said and said, you know, I want to roll with y'all's crew. Right? I, I want to roll with y'all's crew. And the messenger looked at him, man, and said, well, shoot. Like, that's what's up, bro. Like, you can roll with us. And he said, come on with us. And the brother started walking toward him. He said, oh, but hold up. He said, to come with us, you got to go sell all of that stuff. You got to go sell that Rari. You got to go pawn that Cuban link. You got to go get that, 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 that Roly to the homeless. And I know this is not in the Bible, man, but, but I feel like if King James wrote a Bible, then, then hell soul can do it too. Right? He said, you, you got to go get rid of all that stuff. And the rich young ruler was looking at his diamonds, man. He was looking at the new Jays he had just bought. He was looking at the Amari t-shirt he had on. And he was like, man, like, I don't know if I can do that, brother. And it said, the rich young ruler said, nah, I, I, I can't cope, man. Like, like, I would love to roll with y'all brothers, but, but I, I can't get rid of this shine. And it said, the rich young ruler just went on his way, man. And the thing is, man, like the, the message that I extracted from that today, man, is a lot of people, a lot of us, we want the victory. We want the win. We, we, we want to go, we want to go and, and accomplish that thing, bro. But I think a lot of times, man, God or universe or life is, is really seen if we have the ability to walk away from everything we built or walk away from everything that's behind us or walk away from, from any and everything. I think sometimes, man, I think sometimes the world will say, okay, you know what? I see you say you want that thing. And, and the thing is, I'll give that thing to you. But I got to first see, I got to first see if you're willing to walk away from everything you are attached to. Everything that you have associated with your name. Everything that you think you have in position that puts you, in, in, you know, in a certain position. Are you willing to walk away from that first? And if so, I'll give it to you. Like a lot of people think that story in the Bible is about, oh, well, if you got riches, if you got diamonds, if you got cars, if you got a big crib and all this stuff, a lot of people think that, oh, if you have these things, then you can't be holy. You can't walk with God. You can't do this. That's BS. That's BS because, because, because source energy will grant you all those things if you want. So the story wasn't about, oh, man, well, you got too much stuff to hang with us. The thing was, okay, you can roll with us. But you got to understand that where we're going, like our lives will be evolving. Like, like it's, it's a consistent evolution if you want to walk this path. And a lot of times you got to know that a lot of times you can't move forward because of the things that are behind you. So, so he was telling the brother, it's not that you can't have those things and roll with us, but I got to see if you really about that life, man. I got I to gotta see if your identity is tied to the things that shine. Because if they are, brother, you, you're not built for this. If your identity is tied to the label on your shirt, if your identity is tied to the branding on your vehicle, not saying you shouldn't get those, but if your identity is tied to that so much where you can't walk away from it, you ain't ready for this life, man. You're not, you're not ready to move mountains is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, I'll, and I'll just break it down to a lot of our lives. Like a lot of times you're sitting there saying, well, I want to step out and get a better job. I think I'm worth a, a corner office in corporate America. Like I'm tired of stacking these bricks. Or you're saying, you know what? 
I want to I want to do my own thing. I have this creative power. I have these ideas. I have this ability to start this business. And it's like, okay, you know what? I'll give you that. But are you willing to walk away from all these things in your life? Like the brothers you the brothers you in the trap spot with, like 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 you know you can't move like that and move with what you're trying to do first. So so get rid of all that stuff. Like the messenger said, "Hey, you know what? You can come with us. I will give you this thing you're asking for." But get rid of that real quick. Get rid of that. Get get rid of that woman that doesn't compliment you. Get rid of that woman that can't be in those rooms where you where, where you know you'll be once I give you that thing. Get rid of that. Get rid of those vices. Get rid of those habits. Get get rid of those empty rituals that you participate in that 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 are really keeping you from going forward. Like I have to know that you I have to know the I have to know that you're willing to walk away from the old version of yourself. Like we can sit there and point the finger at a million things on why we can't move forward. Or I can get on the World Wide Web and say, brothers, you need to meditate. Brothers, you need to read these books. Brothers, you need to do X, Y, Z. Brothers, you need to put these kind of do this. I can list a million things. We can all list a million things that we should do to go forward. But a lot of times it's like sources just saying, okay, you know what? You are worthy. Come on with me, but hold up. Get rid of all that stuff. All those, all those things, get rid of it. And then you can come this way. And a, a lot of us will be just like the rich young ruler sitting there twiddling our thumbs for two or three minutes, pondering on it, thinking about, oh, man, if I get rid of this Cuban link, like, like the women may not come my way as much. If I, if I sell these assets, if, if, if I downsize for five minutes and get out this, 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 this mansion and go to this, this studio apartment, like, like people may look at me funny. If I get rid of this job, man, and, and get a, and get a, a a less paying job, so I can free up more time to start my entrepreneurship uh, entrepreneur journey, people are gonna look at me like, "What am I doing?" And a lot of times, man, a lot of times, not a lot of times, all all that is is ego. A lot of times, it's not that you're not doing the right things or know or how to move. A lot of times, your your, your ego or what you think people will think of you from walking away from certain situation is keeping you from the glory land. It's keeping you from the victory. So you got you got to understand, man. You got you got to understand when you talk about when you talk about walking this path. When you're talking about moving mountains. When you're talking about making quantum leaps. It, it, it's about it's about it's about coming out of the the, the 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 earthly mindset so much and balancing it with that spiritual mind. It, it, it's about balance. And a lot of people are, are being kept from balance because they're too heavy in the in, in the image. They're, they're too caught up in, in what they got to hold on to to maintain this imaginary status. The real talk nobody give, get, really cares about. You have to be willing to let go, man. Let go jobs, let go, let go people, let go circumstances, let go scenarios, let go vices, let go spending habits, let go material things, let go people. Like, like once you're willing to let it go, man, it's like, it's like, bro, like, like the door is wide open. Now you can travel that path. But you, you, you have to be willing to let it go.